joking. There it is. That's there it is. Yeah. That's, All right, guys. We have this game. is going to be a great game now. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have right. game number two between uh, Slayer's boxer, aka Jethro Gibbs, <laughs> spawning as our red tier. And here at the bottom right hand corner of Taldry Malter, his opponent here in the top right hand corner. That is TSL alive. He is our purple Terran. And here we go. Yeah. Will Jethro Gibbs be able to come back, stay alive in this series? You know, Boxer's pool play is at risk here. I mean, if he goes down two matches, that's that's kind of rough. That kind of guarantees you at least like third or fourth. But I think with a new ID like Jethro Gibbs, he's going to be able to win no problem. What do you guys think? Jethro Gibbs, that's how we got Jethro Gibbs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back and change. That's going to be my Smurf ID for all time now. It's Jethro actually Gibbs. like Jethro Gibbs with a yeah. boxer mask on. Although now that I said that, it's not a Smurf ID anymore, is it actually? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure there's going to be 50 Jethro Gibbs accounts on Reddit by tomorrow. I have a Smurf ID, but I'm not going to say it. I actually own the ladder on that one now. But... Oh, so secret. Yeah. I can't tell you. <laughs> I, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. And then I'd be casting by myself. I don't want to do that. I only have cast pajamas, and I'm only diamonds when I ladder. People are like, oh, I'm playing cast pajamas. I thought you were better or something. <laughs> like, oh. You know, that's that's a, like a, as far as like casters, all casters being pro gamers, I think there's actually a kind of a big misconception. Like, a lot of people think the uh, Korean casters for the GSL are all former pro gamers, and they're actually not. Um, maybe only two of them, I think, are actually. Yeah. Two or three. But uh, one of them actually used to be a, a host for, like, the Home Shopping Channel in Korea before he was a, a StarCraft II commentator. So, <laughs> That's awesome. yeah, it's, like, all walks of life. Actually, he's a, he's a fun guy. They they call him Koshin, which is the Korean name for Colossus because he's really tall and he has a big head, so they call him Colossus. <laughs> yeah, he's known as the Colossus caster. He's, if, if you've seen the interviews on the GSL where it's that really tall guy. Coded qualifiers. He had a little interview. I remember seeing Colossus. that. There yep. you go. Yep. And old Jethro Gibbs decided to go gas first before Barracks. Of course, his opponent alive uh, throwing down gas after that as well. Um, but he decided to open barracks first. So a little bit of differentiation in our builds quite yet. We'll see if an yeah. add-on gets added on or if a wife's just going to go right back up the factory. Well, it's a little bit bigger map than yep. Shakura. So the, either way, the players are going to have a little bit more time to prepare for whatever their opponents are doing. The thing with Taldrim Alter, though, is it's hard to scout your opponent, really. Yeah. A lot of players even still send out two gathers sometimes to do scouting early on. And we have one Marine being sent to the front here for Alive. And he's actually going to try and get a read. Exactly on when the SUV makes its way to his base. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, Boxer, he decided to throw up a very, very quick factory. We already see a reactor going down on the barracks. We'll see what tech choice he's going to make here in just a second. Uh, reactor Hellion expands are pretty popular on this map. You can, again, you know, it's all about the map control early on. It's all about controlling the Zelenaga Towers, making sure you can restrict the information your opponent has, and make sure that you have as much information about them as you can get. And he Hellions is, are a great way to do that. And he is adding a second gas as well, so we may see a further tech option here in just a second. One, okay. one uh, Hellion already making its way out, and he's about to have enough gas saved up for yeah. Starport. There it is. We'll see what decision he makes in a second. On no. the other hand, Alive adding a reactor of his own, so same structures, just a different way to get there. Check out the bottom base of uh, Alive's main there. Look at those two Marines just kind of chilling out there. That huh. is the type of Marine position that I get excited about, man. That's, that's the sort of forward thinking where it's like, if there are going to be Reapers coming into my base, this is probably where, where they're going to be coming from. I love preparation like that. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. We already see a transition there from the factory over onto the reactor, so reactor Hellions, and moving into an expand, just like you were talking about before. Yeah. On Boxer's side of things, though, we do have a starport being built down in the bottom left-hand corner. It's building it out of the way. Does not want that to get scouted at all. Oh, this is interesting because it is actually, I was wrong, it is actually not a reactor Hellion expand. It's meant to look like that. Ooh. He's going to be reacting some Hellions out to make, uh, make uh, Alive think that he's going to be reactor Hellion expand, when in fact he's going to follow it up with Banshees. And this is going to be great. I mean, if the Oxer can get in there and even, you know, damage the Marines, that's going to make the SCVs that much more powerful. There's or the SCVs. They're not going to attack this. Well, maybe. We'll see if he bit by bits it. But they're probably not. It's going to be the Banshees doing the damage. But bit that's, by bit. That's a very Korean style to do things, too. I mean, in, in the Western scene, Banshees are used mostly to kill gatherers, where in the Korean scene, a lot of Koreans focus on killing Marines to make a follow-up push that much stronger. And uh, actually, Jethro Gibbs did get in there with the Hellion for a little Jethro while. So I can't Gibbs. stop saying it. I have to. It's, it's too perfect of an ID to, yeah. <laughs> let's, call, let's give him the respect he deserves, though. It is Slayer's Boxer. He did get in there with the Hellion. He got a full scout <laughs> on his opponent's base, saw the expansion coming up, whole nine yards. Um, looks like Alive tried to test the water.
Slaughter sent down a couple of Hellions, but that was not successful. The Cloaked Banshees are making their way out for Boxer, though, and uh, I don't know if Alive's going to be ready for this. He will have this, double scans, though. This is pretty exciting. This is why Slayer's Boxer is so great, because he does those little things that you don't see players you know, do very often. When's the last time you saw a player try to fake a Hellion expand into Banshees? I, I don't know if I've actually ever seen that before in a TVT. It's very, very cool. Yeah, certainly. And uh, Banshee's making oh, its way out this. now. There's a Viking out in time. Will he oh, see it? And Alive has beautiful positioning oh, with his Marines. Over. May be able to catch him before that goes into Cloak. Oh, yep, the Vikings. Oh, the patrol for the Viking oh. might miss the Banshee. He does see it. No, oh, he's got disaster. it. But if Boxer can keep it alive in time, keep it alive until Cloak finishes. He's got just a couple seconds left on that. And is it going to live? I think it is. Cloak does finish. Yep, so yep. Boxer's going to at least force a scan with this. Yep, and he's going to pick off a couple of Marines in the meantime as well. He'll work yep. the cliff line. That's the beautiful position. That's absolutely where he wants to be. Yeah, and he is going to still get a few SCV kills. Well, I kind of expected a little bit more Hellion harassment from him, but he didn't do that. And is the Banshee going to escape? I don't think so. Nope. nope. Vikings take it out, no problem. Number two's coming up, though. We already have another Banshee being sent up to the top right. That's right. They didn't tell this Banshee what happened to the last one. They're like, oh, no, the first Banshee, it's, it's fine. It's killing so many SCVs right now. You've got nothing to worry about. Just go go to the other base. Don't worry He's about getting it. a raise and will be successful. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let's see here. No expansion quite yet coming out of Boxer, although he certainly has the resources to put one down here in just a second. Yep. Raven is already on the way for Alive, so he's going to be pretty well prepared for any sort of cloaked unit as soon as that finishes. Hmm. Now, Boxer is actually pushing out with yes, some Hellions he and Marines of his own, and he even has a Raven along with them, I believe. Or no, Raven on the way. I saw that in the production queue. But uh, here we have That's as Cloak Banshee starting to do some damage. He's already picked off a couple of SCV kills. The Vikings are being sent over. Are the Marines pulling? Yes, they are. That is going to allow the Hellions to make their way up through the front if they so desire. Yeah. Banshee has already gotten itself away, though, getting three kills. Scott and gets away scot free. It's actually Alive that made the Raven, too, as, as yes. Ravens are pretty good at seeing Cloak Banshees. Yes, indeed. Kind of useful for. Another Banshee coming in as well. Boxer focusing down some more Marines. And with that tur with that Raven, though, Banshee's going to get seen. Bye, Banshee. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Well, actually escaped just did in the last just second. Happen? Yes, it did. Actually moved away from it after All the last right. shot. Here we go, though. Boxer's going to make his way in as the second command center gets yeah. put down. There's a lot of Marines and only one siege tank oh, here. So these Hellions. Hellions are going to do quite a bit of damage, oh, making man. their way through. Oh, he pulls back at the moment, though. Doesn't want to engage quite yet. Just going to threaten the orbital command first. Yeah, there is a tank, though, that's going to make the Hellions be a little bit more hesitant. But I'm gonna, we're going to see if Boxer decides to just go through the front. Is he going to do it? Trying to go through the choke. Loses one Hellion there. He's got some SCVs there to repair the Hellions. Really nicely done by Boxer, but will it be enough? Siege mode isn't going to finish anytime soon. Uh, He's going to be able to take out those depots, too. Yeah, it's got quite a while before it does oh. finish. However, the siege tanks are still providing quite a bit of fire. The supply depots are going to get down, and this actually allowed uh, Slayer's Boxer the opportunity to equalize the supply. It's taking yeah. the workers. They're both even at the moment. So The thing is, is Stim and Siege mode is about to yes. finish for TSL Live, and I don't know if Jethro Gibbs is going to be able to break this, man. Slayer's box are burning down trees, too. How BM. Uh, but hey. Siege Mode is done. Now, at the very least, we'll see if Slayer's Boxer is able to keep it contained for a little while so we can get a little bit extra economy out of this. He's starting mm. Stim on his own, so if he's able to sit there long enough for his Stim to finish up and his Siege, uh, he's not going to be all that far behind in the grand scheme of things, although yeah. there are going to be... Uh, Alive will have the much greater Siege Tank count. Well, oh, Siege oh, Mode is finished, no. and Boxer, get out of there! Oh, loses a, okay. a couple Hellions. Yes. Oh, no. A couple of Hellions went down, most of the Marines as well. That is a lot of Marines out for Alive right now. 32 Marines out at the moment, wow. producing five at a time. It's got a lot of Marines, man. Impressive. Most, most impressive. impressive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Said something at the same time. Oh, that's so cute. Um, um, it it yeah. looks like Boxer is going to try and take control of the Zelnark Towers. Of that, yeah. he's actually doing a very good job. Um, so he wants to, uh, to ensure that he has early warning systems, be able mm. to use the max range on his sea shanks, and thus nullify the air superiority that uh, Alive already has sitting there. Um, but he is pretty far behind in just that big bulk of units that you really want to just outright crush your opponents. You know, we do have a drop I coming in for say, Alive. Yeah, there is a drop coming in, and these Marines have Stim. They're not just regular old Marines. They've got that drug that makes them like pull their trigger faster. Uh -oh. or maybe they just hold it down. I Banshee know. may be going in at the same time, though it's kind of pulling back Ooh. as well. We'll see. Um, and getting unloaded. Boxer pulling his SCVs preemptively. Stim. Actually, all those Marines are pretty damaged already. 
Yeah. And they're going to be, oh, they're focusing uh -oh. the SCV. We have an attack that's what? coming through the middle as well. There's oh. a supply drop on that supply depot getting taken down. And yeah, Live's going to be able to cause a little bit of damage with this. Boxer out of position here. Looks like he wants to maybe come into the natural. He's taking that Zelna guitar at the moment, but yeah, that yeah. drop getting cleaned up. Bunch of, you know, a lot of those Marines were already damaged. I'm surprised he packed those guys into the, the medevac. Those are like the weak ones. He's like, all right, which one of you Marines have like been shot a couple times? And some were like, uh, here. And he's yeah, like, going right, on a suicide into the medevac. <laughs> yeah. They tell them that too before it happens. You ever wonder about how Stim works exactly? Because, uh oh. I don't know. Banshee, I've, Banshee. Oh, there's Already a Banshee got a couple in the main. Of kills. There's uh, two kills. It's going to get a few more. The Raven is a little far away. It's going to start making its way back. Banshee's going to have to leave right now. It yep. does. Will it survive? Oh. No, it's getting chased down into a corner. Banshee does Even fall. scanning just to make sure. Maybe a bit of an unnecessary scan there. But, you know, hey, Alive, he's like, I've got so many scans. He's just tossing them out there. Whatever. You Takes want energy? I got gate. energy. Gives her a bunch of free comm scans. He's like, here you go. I got plenty of these. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what I was going to say about Stim, it, th like, think about it for a second, all right? So with a machine gun, normally you hold down the trigger, right, to fire? Right. So, but they fire faster with Stim. So does that mean that the machine guns that the Marines have aren't fully automatic? They just, like, have to pull the trigger really or fast? Or they're partially bionic and actually are incorporated into the Marine's body itself. Oh, that could be true. But look at this. There's another Marine drop at the natural. A boxer doing already, a little bit of damage. But yeah, a boxer one. already pulling away right away. I mean, those are just dead marine carcasses that are littered from the siege tank. So, yeah. uh, boxer actually very, very aware of the map. We've been on two base versus two base for quite a while. I already see a shadow of a third coming out for boxer. Mm. Um, Alive's is uh, command center is just finishing up, but here we go. Boxer stims up a few units. Looks like he wanted to try and take oh, out a couple of things, go. but it doesn't matter. Alive's going to make his way in. He's got a lot of marines. His tanks yeah. are on siege. He can absorb the splash fire. That's going to force boxer to retreat. Alive just has so so much stuff. He's got so many Vikings as well. I think Boxer is in huge, huge trouble right now. He doesn't have a lot to defend against this. He has a couple siege tanks, a couple Marines, but Alive has managed to break that position. And if he plays it carefully with that air advantage that the Vikings give him, He's going to be in a great spot here. And it looks like both players are going to siege up at the same time. This oh, missile truck no. doing a little bit of work on the Vikings, but already uh, Boxer is losing a lot of units, lost some economy oh, wow. as well, but he's doing a good job of that. cleaning this up. Here's he Boxer. turns it around. And he takes out the rest of the tanks. Manages to get the positioning there, drawing a couple siege tank shots wow. to keep those Marines safe. Great engagement by Boxer. Wow, and he is still in this game, and now it is Jethro Gibbs who has the supply lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jethro Gibbs. You know, yeah, Jethro Gibbs. We need Jethro Gibbs t-shirts or something now. Yeah, we better have them yeah. by tomorrow. Uh, third base just finishing up now for Jethro Gibbs as he takes down his uh, rocks over on the right-hand side. Alive has already done that, though. PFing his third, so his economy is going to be plenty good. I'm sure he's going to start switching you know, over I, some SCVs there in a second. I never thought we'd see an ID that would actually make me laugh harder than Hope Torture, but <laughs> Jethro Gibbs, man, that, that <laughs> does it. Pretty right good. That's pretty good. I like that. Yep. Uh, so let's see here. A lot of Marines out for uh, Boxer. SCV count is actually in Boxer's favor at the moment, although mm -hmm. a bunch of mules were just called down for a live. Um, he does have a slight Marine disadvantage, but he's up in tanks, and he's about equalized the, uh, the air advantage as well. So mm -hmm. he's doing really well at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Uh-oh, do we have a some sort of a drop? No, we have Raven Harass. Oh, nice. Auto turrets getting dropped down. I like it. I get excited whenever there are Ravens around. They're like my favorite. Uh-oh, we ever. have an attack in the middle as well. No, it looks like just a couple of Marines were sent out to scout for a live. Looks like he yep. lost most of his pack, though. You know, Ravens are, are really like the most underused unit in StarCraft II, I think, especially in like TVZ, for example. I think people could use Ravens a lot more. Um, they're armored, so they're actually really good for like soaking up baneling damage, believe it, believe it or not. You can kind of bait the banelings into hitting them. If you can, they're pretty nice. Point yeah. defense drone's pretty good too. Let's see here. And um, looks like Boxer's gonna try and make his way up. He feels oh. confident enough to add in some meta packs. Alive is going to push. He catches Boxer on siege, and he actually has a great concave, yeah, really and Boxer loses spread. his entire attack force. Yeah, Boxer again just getting pushed back and alive. He's just had the best positioning for the engagements. You know, he's gotten the concave, he's gotten the jump on Boxer a little bit. Yeah. He does have a slight upgrade advantage right now as well. He does have plus one attack 
Whereas Boxer, the bio for him, doesn't have anything. They're actually, oh no, plus one did just finish, so it is zero one now. Never mind, they're the same. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> no problem. That Raven actually has five kills to its credit, though, so that harass has nice. uh, been very, very effective thus far. We do have a couple of sensor towers down for Boxer, so he knows of the position of the Raven. The Raven's not actually extending itself outside of that line. The Vikings are going to swing around and clean that up. Mm -hmm. And Alive looks like he's going to make a very powerful push. He's up by 25 supply again. And wow, he actually has a huge Marine advantage at the moment. Yeah, we did see Alive get a little bit too aggressive last game with that push, you know, and he paid for it. But we'll have to see if he's a bit more careful this time around. Again, just has huge amounts of Marines. 51 Marines to the 37 Marines of Jethro Gibbs. So, yeah. He's got a lot of Marines. I'm not going to quit I just love to that. say Jethro Gibbs. I'm sorry. It's like, How I know it's Slayer's come up Boxer. With that? Uh, anyway, here we go. Live going to make his way down to the bottom right. There's a bunch uh -oh. of units. A double drop up here at the top left for Boxer, but those units are not going to be utilized in this attack. Yeah. A couple of siege tanks are up for Boxer, but the Marines are making their way in. Alive, Alive. just going to push his way through. Ooh, Alive, got it. Alive needs to be a little bit careful here, losing a lot of Marines. He does wow. to take out one siege tank. Boxer holds relatively, but he does need to move his third. Oh, well, it looks like he's going to swing in. Yep. Oh, but that's a planetary fortress. Is it going to get mass repaired? No, Boxer already pulling away, but he know. has revealed the existence of the drop. He's going to start taking out SCVs yeah. at the top. Alive uh -oh. did manage to take out the third for Boxer, though. Yeah, it looks like Boxer is killing some SCVs up there. You know, the way to defend a planetary fortress in TBT is to always keep the siege tank next to the planetary just to prevent people from coming around behind your mineral lines like that. So I wouldn't be surprised to see you him leave one there, or he might not. Alive just kept most of his economy, though. He's going to start pushing up with his siege tanks. There are a few Marines here. Boxer's going to need to break this or oh. else because he's down to just two Goodbye, bases. Uh, one real mining base, though. Well, you know, Alive has the air advantage in, the big, in a big way. Six Vikings to only two for Slayer's Boxer right now. And plus three weapons already coming for Bio for uh, Alive, so doing well in the upgrades at the same time. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, Boxer's just going to keep getting pushed back here. It's tough. Oh, He's going to need to act. He's Alive trying to has a huge force coming through the top as well. Yeah, 58 supply ahead right now. Boxer's going to move in, try to do as much as he can. Nice Marine spread here. Wow. Might be able to clean up these siege tanks. We'll see. It's going to be close. Oh, no, but Task Force oh. B coming in from behind, and Alive is going to clean up the rest yeah. of these forces. A bunch of SCVs are being pulled, being slaughtered Jeez. at the moment. Boxer is under 50 supply now, and he is going to lose his natural. That is going to be about it, I think. GG, yeah. And TSL Alive 2-0 against Slayer's Boxer here in match two. So Boxer down two matches in this pool play already. Yep. It's not looking good for him, I gotta say. No, it's unfortunate. not at all. Nobody's being eliminated today, so don't worry about it. We're still gonna see more games from Boxer later on, but... But don't forget, we do give $1,000 to first place in pool play, $500 to second, so still quite a bit is on the line. Yep, that's right. We saw... All right, guys, we're gonna run to a quick commercial.